This is the weekly prayer update for Northview United Methodist Church for the week of August the 21st. I'm Pastor Doug. Our scripture this week is Jeremiah 1, verses 4 to 10. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a boy, for you shall go all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, when the Lord said to me, now I have put my words into your mouth. See, today I appoint you over the nations and over the kingdoms to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. For those of you watching on social media, please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those and they can be included in our next prayer time. One announcement, we will be having breakfast with the pastor this week at Famous Anthony's on Thursday at 8 a.m. Please join me if you're available. Uh, for Joy's, uh, George Shea wrote this last week. The new Walker Walk arrived, Wonder Wife and I assembled it. I was working with one hand on my cane, which limited me somewhat, but she really stepped in and got the thing put together. She is a wonder wife for sure, and I am the luckiest man alive. We celebrate George's uh, joy this week. For our concerns, Phyllis Campbell is recovering from COVID and a fall. She is in Lewis Gale Hospital. Um, no visitors or calls at this point. Prayers are appreciated. Uh, Mary McKissick, um, who is a student in the exercise class, has breast cancer. Prayers for her. Richard and Dana Seeley have COVID. Prayers for them. Dee Copenhaver has been hospitalized since Monday with heart-related problems. Prayers for Dee. Alan and Sharon Simpson have had COVID. Prayers for them. This Wednesday is Ukrainian Independence Day. The week marks six months that they have been at war with Russia. 20% of Ukraine is now under Russian control. Prayers for Ukraine and for the surrounding region. And also the unspoken concerns on your hearts and minds this week. Our prayer today is an adaptation of a litany for the church and the world from the United Methodist Book of Worship. Grant Almighty God that all who confess your name may be united in your truth live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly and in service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours, and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the full joy of your salvation. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. We offer these prayers through Jesus Christ our Lord, as we pray as he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.